So as I'm sure most of you are aware, the St. Patrick's Day event has just begun, and as per usual, there is a mission pack associated with it. Now, I've done mission focused videos in the past, and to tell you the truth, I think they're boring. So we're gonna kinda shift this running around doing missions into a rare required video, and we're just gonna kinda jump around maps doing missions and then hopefully find a rare, that's kinda my thoughts. I might go around do some other maps that aren't mission related and just kinda have some fun with it, but we'll see where it goes. It should be good. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so I was actually just about to go to bed, but I decided that I would do my or try to do the brown bear part of the mission. And we actually have our rare. I just spotted it and now apparently I've lost it. Um Okay. That's not how this was supposed to go. I swear there is one. I saw it. I swear. My eyes work properly. I'm pretty sure. Where did that stupid thing go? I'm not crazy, I promise. Gotta be just in the trees there. They must have been going up the hill while I was looking around. Not paying attention apparently. Um, and I can't see it through the trees, which I was expecting to be able to. Interesting. Oh, I see it. But I can't see it when everything renders in, apparently. Um, let's see if it'll poke out and I'll be able to get a shot on it. I'm trying to leave you guys in suspense about what it is, but there we go. That looks like a shot that I'm going to be able to get. Uh, yeah, there we go. And that should have been a good shot. Oops, that one missed. But it died as I shot, so we're gonna pretend that it didn't. So I actually haven't even been hunting very long, so depending on how I decide to do this, we might even fit two rares into this video, but we'll see. I've been I've been lacking on the missions a little bit. It's like second to last day that I have, so I've been kinda of trying to get them done. Because I think I missed the last event, maybe even the last two event trophies, so I'm gonna try to get this one, and then maybe tomorrow with my last day, I'll kill a ton of cottontails and get the qualifier trophy as well. And who knows, maybe we'll find a, a rare cottontail and actually get two rares into this video. But we'll see, I've still got a lot of hunting to do. But here is our first rare of the video, if there does happen to be two. A female piebald roe deer. And obviously no score. But we're gonna go ahead and take a trophy shot of her. Okay, so the camera kinda, or sorry, not the camera, the, uh, the hill kinda screwed me over. And I'm not able to put the camera exactly where I wanted it. But I think it looks alright. Maybe center it up just a tiny bit more. No, I think that looks better. I think that's more center. Anyway, we're gonna take that, I think. Accept it, and because it's a female, I'm not gonna mount it. But, we're gonna keep hunting, and maybe see if we can fit two rares into this video. So about an hour ago, I was running around shooting cottontails, and I came around a corner and saw a nice buck standing in a field. I proceeded to shoot it in the shoulder blade with the 243 at about 250 meters and then I ended up having to track it for an hour and I've just now discovered that it's not nearly as big as I thought it was but at this point I've got him in front of me and I'm gonna finish him off and I might as well take this doe with him because she didn't oops I don't know what that was behind me I did actually get a buck grunt behind me a little bit ago but I don't think yeah there it is again actually I might as well call that in too. 
I'm actually gonna go grab this buck and then wait for him down here. Assuming right. that that mule deer doe doesn't spook him. And then we'll have a look and see what he looks right. like. But we'll just kind of sneak over here and pick this one up first. And see what he's gonna score. I'm figuring he's gonna be probably low uh, 160s. He doesn't, he looked a lot bigger from 250 meters through the 243 scope. And yeah, like I said, low 160s. Well, 160.2. That, that's technically low 160s. Anyway, not quite trophy shot worthy. We're gonna resume and just kind of hang out here and see if that other buck will come over this ridge. So like our last buck, this one also has chosen to come in with a mule deer doe. Now, I actually just got another buck grunt from my left here. I don't know how I want to do this. Apparently that wasn't the way to do it. I have a feeling that was him that spooked over there. Maybe a bit of a whoopsie. Actually, I think I just saw something move over there. Maybe I didn't spook. I don't know, but I kind of wish that these stupid mule deer does weren't all over the place. I don't know, I'm gonna sit here and call and see if anything else comes in, but I'm gonna kind of assume it was just another small buck. I'll feel better that way, because I really don't feel like tracking it. So I did some calling in that spot we were at the other day, and nothing did come in. So another day has passed and I've made my way onto Timbergold Trails where I've found this half decent bull elk. And I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it with the 44 because I'm in a 44 competition for Rocky Mountain Elk and Mule Deer and you know, things. I haven't done competitions in a while so I figured I'd have some fun with that. I don't think he's gonna be that big but I'd rather not shoot him with the bow, chance it, and then he ends up being bigger than I thought. Yeah, I kind of figured he wasn't that big, but whatever. We uh, we have a, a harvest counted for the competition, and obviously it's not very big, but we'll work on it. We'll do some more hunting, see what else we find. That bull looks a lot nicer than the last one we shot, and that score estimate certainly agrees with that. I wish he wasn't stuck on that tree though. I want to shoot him with the handgun, but I don't like that distance and I don't really want to get too much closer to him in case I spook him. So I'm just going to kind of nose my way up this hill and see if I can kind of turn him around and get him off the tree. And if not, I'll just kind of, okay, here we go. He's coming in. And I should be able to get him with the handgun nice and close. I'm gonna let him get closer than that still. I don't know, he doesn't look, I didn't get a very good look at him because he was kind of stuck in those trees, but I don't think he's gonna be super big, but I'm not really that great at judging these guys, so I don't actually know. He's like 385 to 480. I want to say he's just barely over 400. If he even makes it over 400, to tell you the truth, he might be 390s. But we'll go ahead and take him down and find out for ourselves. And he looks nice, but like I said, I don't think he's very much over 400, if he even breaks 400. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. 397 though, that's not bad. We'll go ahead and take a trophy shot of him. So I don't usually take side profile trophy shots of elk, but I actually really like this one, so we're gonna go ahead and take it. And we're gonna accept it. And yeah, I'm not gonna mount him or anything, because obviously, not quite 400. And he's nowhere near my personal best of, I believe, 424, so. We're just gonna take a picture of him and call her good there. And we're gonna keep looking and see if we can maybe nab a spot in this competition. Although I've kind of been wasting time in attempts, so I have a feeling I'm not gonna place, but I'm still enjoying my time competing, so we'll keep hunting and see what else we can find. All right, so we've kind of switched to a puma hunt and we have one in front of us. I'm actually not sure if it's a male or a female. The dog just kind of picked up on it and led me to it. So we'll find out right now. 
and it is in fact a female. Which I suppose is alright. I'm okay with pretty well any Puma stats, so... Female or male. I mean, obviously the males pay substantially more, but... I like my Puma stats. I actually quite enjoy hunting Puma. They're... I find them more enjoyable than hunting Lynx and Bobcat are kinda... Bobcat are... I don't know. Bobcat are one of those things that I kinda hunt on the side. I don't really actively hunt Bobcat ever. Usually if I'm sitting on the deer stand or whatever on Whiteheart Island, I'll just kinda pop the e-collar down and they'll just kinda come in. But yeah, no, I definitely enjoy the, the Puma a little more than the Lynx. Just, they're, they're very similar concepts the way I hunt them, like, for a lot of people obviously avoid Lynx because of their difficulty, but for me I enjoy Lynx, but I don't know, the Pumas seem more fun. I don't hunt them as much, but now I kind of want to hunt Lynx too, but I have a feeling we're not going to do that in this one, but maybe soon. I do enjoy a good Lynx hunt, but we're going to keep looking, maybe find some Bighorn too. I didn't bring anything to shoot the Charmigans with, and I'm kind of, kind of a little bit annoyed about it, but... I'll get over it. We'll see if we can find some more pumas or something. There's other animals up in this mountain that I do have weapons for, so... I'm sure we'll figure something out. I believe I've spotted another puma. And this one's a male. I guess he's a little bit outside of the dog's range, because he has not picked up on it yet, but... We're gonna go ahead and shoot it from over here. And it went down like a stone. Actually, I'm going to mark where that was because I'm kind of notorious for shooting things at range like that in this kind of uh, this kind of environment and then not finding it. We'll go ahead and ping that and I'll run over there and hopefully I, I do find it. It shouldn't be that hard, especially now that I pinged it. Okay, so it looked like he ended up being pretty well exactly on that mark. So I don't know how I didn't see him when I put the mark down, but... Anyway, he's right here. I think. I just saw him. I swear I'm not crazy. Um, okay. Maybe I am crazy. Nah, I'm not kidding. He was, like, right here. I'm not insane. Okay, here's the blood. No, he's gotta be, like, he's right here. Yeah, here we go. He's just blending in. I found him. And 79 kg, so probably, like, a 15.4 would be my guess. Okay, no, I'm way off. That's a, that's a real small male. 15.0667. Still 142 GMs for a very small, very small male. But, yeah. I'm okay with that. Not quite, obviously, trophy shot worthy or anything, but I'm okay with that pay. And like I said, I'm quite enjoying hunting Pumas, so I'm not complaining. And I was lucky enough that I spotted him at a distance and was able to take him out without any hassle, so... That's a win-win in my book. So after a week of recording, I never did find another rare, but I figured this would be a good place to end this off. I had a good bit of fun, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it too, and I'll see you guys in the next one.